But how should we pay that? $4 well, million dollars we, is a lot of money. We haven't had that money already, so what we're doing is we're just extending this tax cut. And if we can take some of the regulatory scheme off the backs of businesses and actually encourage businesses to expand in the United States and maybe come back to the United States by changing a lot of the regulatory schemes, we will be able to raise the revenues without raising taxes. Mr. Goffrey? Well, I think uh, we need to extend all of the tax structure as it exists today for a limited period, perhaps for two years. And the main reason I believe that is because the last thing that you want to do at a time when economic recovery is the national priority is raise taxes on an income that we cannot, cannot afford not to do. I think it's important that we bring our non-combat troops home from Iraq. The combat troops are out. We still have 47,000 U.S. troops stationed in Iraq. It's time to turn Iraq over to the Iraqis. I would say to take a look at the congressional budget first. As you know, I've asked that we go back to congressional pay. Take a look at a lot of the other perks. Uh, Mr. Bowser doesn't get a car paid by taxpayers' expense, but he pays out the car. Uh, I learned that congressmen can get a car paid for taxpayers' expense. Take a look at a lot of different programs. Take a look at all of them. There's silly things being spent all across the board. And the policies that allowed that budget to be balanced were radically changed in the year 2001 when an administration of my opponent's party came into office. And uh, we started seeing budget deficits very shortly after that. And the result was, over that eight-year period, the national debt was tripled. The budget is a zero-sum game, game. And in reality, you can raise revenues by increasing the number of people who are working, increasing the number of investments in this country, with businesses coming back here by doing things that By $1.4 trillion, that's the deficit. Yeah. Well, you can't necessarily increase it in one year, nor do I think Mr. Boucher's plan to balance the budget in eight months. But I do think that you can set in place a, a pattern that will get us to that balanced budget. Further, I find it interesting because I'm just seeing inco incoherent faults going on here, or at least inherently inconsistent statements. To attack the Bush administration for not having the, the policies that kept the budget balanced, but he supports the very cuts in the budget that he did, or cuts in taxes that he now says. I mean, that's where that came from. Well, the Bush circumstances the tax were very cuts. different then. At, at the time that the Bush tax cuts now, I think the circumstances have dramatically changed, and that justifies extending the entire tax structure for at least a two-year period. We've got to go to break, but one last, let me get back to this question. Sure. Would you be willing to look at entitlements to cut benefits? Well, I don't think you can change, particularly Social Security, you can't change the deal. Folks who are already investing in the system made with their government, the United States government, and say, well, we're going to change the deal on you when you're 50 years old or when you're 45 years old. So I don't think you can do that, but I do think that you have to take a look at everything to see what you can do to eliminate fraud, to eliminate wasteful spending, and to build jobs in this country so that we can raise the revenues without raising taxes. And Mr. Contra, if you're if you're serious about a balanced budget as well, the same question to you, you're going to have to tackle the problem, are you not? Well, I don't think Social Security has to be tackled. Uh, the trust fund is the sound commission. If Congress did absolutely nothing with Social Security, the trust fund would be sufficient to pay benefits to everyone up until about 2040. And of course, we are going to make changes to Social Security in the meantime to get the longevity way beyond that. But I don't think uh, reducing Social Security benefits or increasing retirement age, ages is a feasible way to approach this. The American public, frankly, would not support that, and I don't support it either.